Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to share with you some more Christmas DIYs using affordable products from the Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, and other places like that. If you guys are new, my name is Liz and I love all things craft and DIY and home decor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you guys ring your notification bell so you're notified for all of my future videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's projects. For this first DIY, you're going to grab a tag sign from the Dollar Tree. They have some in some Christmas prints right now, so you should be able to find them. I'm going to paint this in my Waverly chalk paint in lacquer. I'm just going to do one good coat of it. And then I used my little heat gun to dry the paint so much faster than it normally would just drying on its own. I'm going to go ahead and distress my sign mostly around the edges. I wanted that wood look around the border of the sign, and then I did sand down the front of the sign quite a bit so that it would have that scratchy look to it. And then I'm going to take this burlap that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe last year, but I know that they carry these all year long. I'm going to take that and I'm going to hot glue it down to the back. I made sure to pull tight so that the burlap was pretty tight around it. I'm going to take this buffalo check ribbon that I also got from Hobby Lobby. I know that these were out at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's there right now, but I know that it was there during the fall time. I'm going to put that on top of the burlap and just hot glue it down. I'm then going to take some white string. I'm going to wrap that around three times and tie a little tiny bow right in the center. I printed out the word Noel for my computer. I will have that as a free printable down in the description box below. And I'm gonna show you how you can use this rather than use a Cricut if you don't have a Cricut. If you do have a Cricut, go ahead and use that. But this is a great alternative to any of the projects that we do using a Cricut. Take the printable and you want to scribble all over the back of it with a pencil, making sure to get everywhere where the words are, where the letters are. And then you're gonna put that where you want it on your sign and you're gonna start tracing out your letters. You do wanna press pretty firm to make sure that the pencil does transfer through the back. Now you could use carbon paper or transfer paper for this. I didn't have any of that, so this is what I did instead. My handwriting is not good at all, so by all means, if you have a good free hand, do that. But for me personally, that's one of the reasons why I like using my Cricut so much is because I can get the pretty font without trying to freehand it because I am not a good freehander. I can barely do this method <laughs> as it is. So this method works perfectly if you don't have a Cricut. If you do though, or if you have stickers, that would work too. And you are just going to start tracing that over with whatever color that you want. I chose black. This is just a black Sharpie from the Dollar Tree. And then I will go over it with some black, with a black paint pen. Don't mind my head getting in the way. Apparently I need to see an eye doctor because I had to be so close up to this to be able to see the lines. And then you're just gonna begin filling in the word with your paint pen or you could just use paint. Whatever you have on hand is definitely gonna work. And I just filled in all the letters with that black paint pen. I believe it's from the brand Sharpie and I just got it from Walmart. After that, I'm gonna take this other ribbon I believe I got this from Walmart and it is wired so it is super easy to manipulate which I love. I can make the tails curly and I just cut out one piece to make a loop for the bow and then I cut out another piece for the tails of the bow. I'm going to put the loop on top of the tails and then I'm going to take some twine and I'm going to just tie them together with that. I'm going to use some hot glue and hot glue that to the top of my sign and then I'm going to twist my tails and hot glue those down and I absolutely love the way that this little sign turned out. For this next DIY, you're going to need one of Dollar Tree's little square drawer cube things. <laughs> you're going to take some scrapbook paper. The best way to do this is to cut it in strips of the correct size of all four sides. And you're just going to start gluing them down 
all around all four sides of the box and then you can cut out a separate piece for the top. You don't need to worry about the bottom. Nobody's going to see the bottom. So just cover all four sides with your scrapbook paper of choice and then cover the top as well. And after you've done that, I'm going to take this ribbon that I got from Michaels and I'm going to tie it around the box and I tied a double knot at the top. I'm gonna take a pine stem that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna take these red berry ties that you can also get from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make a little garland piece. I'm just basically gonna twist them all together and then hot glue them to the tops of my little presents. And that is it for these cute little buffalo check presents. For this next DIY, I'm going to take these two triangles, my husband cut these out so that I didn't have to while I was busy working on my other projects. I'll have the dimensions in the description box below and I'm going to take these two pieces of scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. All the scrapbook paper that I get is typically from Hobby Lobby and I am going to trace those out and cut them out while using my craft knife. I'm going to use some glue stick and I'm going to glue down my paper on top of my triangle. I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to take these wood slices that you can get from basically any craft store. I'm going to drill a hole in them and as well we drilled a hole in the triangles on the bottom. I got these skewer sticks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to hot glue the skewers down into the wood rounds. I then added some beads. These are just from Amazon. I put some hot glue into my triangle and then hot glued that down to my skewer stick. And then I basically followed the exact same steps for my second one, although I didn't put as many beads on the second one. I added four beads, added some hot glue in between the last two, and then pushed those together so that those would stay up, and then attached my wood slice to my skewer stick. I took some of my Waverly Antique Wax and I just distressed the outside of both of my triangles. I also did a little bit of light distressing on the beads just to give it a little extra something. You could leave them plain, but I thought that they looked really cute with a little bit of distressing to them. After that, I'm going to take some twine, I'm going to loop it around my fingers about two times, and I'm going to make a cute little twine bow for each of them. I hot glued those down to the very top bead, and I let those dry, and that is it. That is my cute little triangle beaded trees. I thought these turned out so cute. Next project, you're going to take a wooden star that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take some more scrapbook paper, like I said, from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to Mod Podge the entire thing. And then I'm just going to press that all down, let it dry, and then I'm going to take my craft knife and go around the paper and cut off all the excess paper. I'm going to take this nautical rope that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to begin just by hot gluing it all around the edges of the star. And then I'm going to take some more of that antique wax from Waverly and I'm just using whatever was left on this sponge brush and I'm just going to lightly run it over the, no the rope. I wanted it to look a little bit more distressed and I was feeling like it was looking a little beachy, kind of a beachy vibe. <laughs> so I tried fixing that by adding some distressing to it. I got these metal words from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to pick the word joy. I took my Waverly chalk paint in lacquer and I just started painting this. I did have to go over it a couple times and by the end I just did a dabbing technique because I really liked the texture that it gave and I just hot glued that down to my sign. I took a couple bells that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. I did a little dabbing to them with my Waverly wax antique just to make them look a little bit more rusted and old. I took another pine stem and I twisted it into a little wreath. I added some more of those berry ties to it. I took some more of this ribbon and I tied a little bow to it. I tied my two little bells together on some twine, making one higher than the other one. And then I hot glued those to the bow. And then I hot glued my wreath down 
and then hot glued my bow and bells down to the wreath. For this next project, you're going to take this little house calendar that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I've had this for a little bit while now. I just started off by using some painter's tape for the roof and painting the roof in my Waverly Chalk Paint in Truffle. And then I also painted the little box itself in that same truffle color. I did paint all the sides and I also painted the inside of the little box. I taped off the little box and I taped off the roof and I painted the house in my Waverly chalk paint and lacquer. I did have to give this a couple good coats, probably like three or four just to get everything covered up. I took some Waverly white chalk paint and I just started adding some distressing to the top to make it look like snow. I then just started dabbing around the entire thing just to give it kind of like a snowy look all over the house and the roof and all over the box itself. And then I took one of these mini wreaths that you can get from the Target dollar spot and I hot glued that to the middle of the house. And this is how my little barn red house advent calendar turned out. For this next project, you are going to grab one of these tree stakes from the Dollar Tree. Now in a previous project, I tried using the front where I sanded off the glitter. It worked for the most part, but you could kind of still see the outlines of the candy canes and everything and I wasn't able to get it completely smooth. So I tried using the back this time and tried seeing if I could get the stake off all in one piece by heating up the glue. It didn't exactly work the way that I wanted it to. The stake still snapped off and I basically just went back and forth with a flathead screwdriver and my heat gun to try to get it the glue all loosened up and it worked for the most part but you could still kind of see the glue underneath. I went through and sanded it down as much as I could. But in the end, you weren't really going to see it anyways. I used my Waverly chalk paint in white and I added a good three coats to cover up that green. I painted the little trunk in my truffle chalk paint. And then I got these letters from Gio and Dan. I will have their Facebook and Instagram linked down below. And I'm spelling out the words Mary and Bright just using an N for the and. And I'm going to paint them in my steel Waverly chalk paint. And then for the N, I'm going to paint it in my lacquer chalk paint. Now I got this star from a previous project on one of my other tag signs. I went through and dabbed it with some of my steel chalk paint, went back over it with some of my Waverly chalk paint in white. I went through and distressed my tree in some more steel chalk paint. I wanted to give the edges of the tree a good just little pop so that it popped out and it wasn't so lost, gave it some more dimension. Now I'm going to take my letters and I'm taking a piece of twine and I'm going to start hot gluing my letters from the top of the letter to the twine. I wanted them to look like they were on a little banner, so I just started hot gluing each letter down. And then I just began arranging it the way that I wanted them, and I just hot glued them all down. I started with the sides so that they would stay in place, and then I just hot glued the twine to the back of the tree. I took two tumbling tower blocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I painted them in that same troubled chalk paint and I hot glued one to the front and one to the back of the trunk to make a little stand.
And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which was your favorite project in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave and I'll see you next time. Bye. All I need